Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to do something very different than what I usually do and I want to show you my garden. Today I'm going to be picking and pressing flowers that I will eventually use for jewelry making. My garden has been bringing me so much joy lately and I really wanted to share that with you guys. I've been very intentional about doing things that bring me joy. And honestly, that is the best decision I have ever made for myself. Spending time out in my garden, watching my plants grow, tending to them, caring for them, and eventually harvesting them and pressing them is just such a wonderful, fun process. And I am just having so much fun with that. Having these mornings in my garden and allowing myself to enjoy this process has been so good for my anxious brain and it's given me a peaceful place to exist in a very chaotic and scary world. Once I've harvested all the flowers that I want to today, I will then take them into my studio and start pressing them in books. There are lots of different ways to press flowers, but there's something really special about using books, especially my favorite books like this Shel Silverstein book. I will place a piece of parchment paper in between the pages and this protects both the book and the plants. Then I will delicately and very, very carefully remove the flowers from the stem of the plant. I will arrange them in ways that, when pressed, will look nice in jewelry. I love this process of plucking and arranging the flowers because I feel like I really get to become personal and close with the flowers. I get to look at them and I get to carefully pluck them and then I get to see how they're going to arrange on the paper and it's just, I feel like I'm really getting close to the plants this way. Plus, it looks aesthetic as hell. I mean, look how pretty. <laughs> I will let these plants press in these books for about a week or so, and once they are completely dry, pressed, and flat, I will then be able to use them for my jewelry. I've shared a little bit of my jewelry making process on this YouTube channel, so feel free to go and look at those if you would like, and I think I would like to share more because, like I've said, this 
whole entire process is just the ultimate bringer of joy for me right now and I want to share that with you guys. I also, of course, have to do a shameless plug right here. If you are interested in my jewelry, I will have a link to my Etsy shop in the description below. I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys because I feel like being able to see the plants and see the process from them being in the ground to being pressed and eventually being made into jewelry is it's really special to be able to see that and actually see where the plants came from. I think there's so much magic in plants and I do consider myself to be a magical person. I consider myself a green witch, so I'm just so happy to be able to share my plants with you guys and really show you the magic that goes into making all of my pieces. I feel like each little piece is really magical. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and coming along with me as I press these flowers. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming this, so I hope you guys like it too. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all soon.